Hi there. Welcome to NAB Talk, brought to you by the NAB Wealth Financial Group, helping you reach your destination in life on purpose. I'm your host, Simon Prowse, and each episode will bring you educational, inspirational, and informative interviews on a broad range of topics. Well, hello, everyone. And welcome to another edition of NAV Talk. It's been some time since we've sat down and, and had a NAV Talk, and today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Today I have two guests in the in the interview room. I have Craig Banny. Hi, Simon. And I have Jamie Prouse. Hi, guys. Jamie is our project coordinator here at NAVWELL. And today we're turning our NAV Talk on its head, and Jamie's going to be interviewing Craig and myself on NAV Wealth and, and really focusing on our integrated advice. So, Jamie, without further ado, I'll hand the meeting over to you. Awesome. Thanks. So, Craig and Simon, it's great to have you both here. I'm um, going to be a bit different. I'm um, going to be picking both your brains. So, uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. So, to kick things off, uh, could you both please share with us the last five months at Nav Wealth and what it's looked like and what the vibe around the office has been? Sure, Jamie. I think, uh, well, I might start off, Simon, if that's all right. Um, I think the first thing for me is after our two mergers last year before Christmas, we've come back into this new year and we have, you know, a whole bunch of new people. We're now at 44 people. And one of the things that's really made me very, very excited the last couple of months is watching the younger people of our team really grow. I think they've really enjoyed being part of a larger business and it's been really enjoyable for me to see that, Jamie. Yeah, awesome. And Simon? Well, for me, it's been a hell of a busy time, <laughs> um, both, both uh, business-wise and personally. Um, of course, the Johnson's merger with Steve and Julie and, and that's probably a little bit more mature in where we're at. It's probably been about sort of eight months now. But there's been a lot going on there. And Steve and Julie have been really helping us and driving with that. And more recently, the, the merger with WR Glassman and & Co and Wendy's business. Now, that's it, it's fairly new and it happened over a, a period of time that we call uh, Christmas. So it was very <laughs> interrupting <laughs> and extremely challenging when it came to that and providing services. But look, Look, overall, I think we've done a, a pretty good job of it and we're really looking forward to getting to this new season or the end of the tax season and meeting all these clients and, and, and really uh, the journey continues. Yeah, absolutely. And um, speaking of mergers, Craig, as the founder of NavWealth, could you take us back, oh, what was it, 13 years ago now, what actually inspired you to ever start NavWealth and merge with Simon's accounting business? Yeah, gee, it seems, it just seems... A lot longer than 13 years ago now when I think that we started uh, the financial planning practice 33 years ago now this year. It seems, it seems like really Simon and I have been working together for 33 years, but clearly it's not. It's 13 years. For me, um, what it was about at the time was we were working with quite high net wealth, sophisticated clients, and we just felt there was always missed opportunities between the gaps between the client's accountant and us and just the inefficiency of the client having to go and see multiple advisors. They'd come and see me, then they'd go see their accountant or vice versa. And there would be just things missing all the time. We'd, we'd have things fall through the, cap, the gaps. So I just got to the point where I thought, wow, could we not just make an integrated solution? So our clients come along and get to see all their advisors in one place and be more efficient and come up with better opportunities for them. I sense a sense that's that's why we yeah started awesome all those started years ago. one shop stop one stop shop yeah, integrated advice yeah. all right Simon um, back to you when we talk about this merger thirteen years ago you obviously had your accounting business and you were doing quite well in that what actually solidified your decision to merge with Craig and then give your clients that opportunity to then um, go on to financial planning as well as getting accounting advice well I was lonely. <laughs> I, was, I was running a, a show where I had a couple of staff and it was just me and, and um, really it was a time in my life where I saw the business world start to change. What I mean by that is the, the breadth of advice that accountants could provide was, was strangled. It was, mm. it was closing down. So what we found in the accounting world, we could advise on past and we could talk tax 
but that was really limited. So if you're sitting down with a client and all you can say is tax, 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 and that client is wanting to know about their journey and, and wealth creation and investments and things like that, then I wasn't the person for them. And I really enjoy that part of working with clients. And, and that's where I saw um, a, a merger with a financial planning style business would be fantastic. And, and such was the journey. And, and Craig and I met um, yeah, awesome. looking for those those parties. Yeah, and I assume that's the same kind of mentality that you've both had. Um, obviously, over the last 13 years, you've now got bookkeeping and then you've got lending. You've got a whole range of advice that obviously you guys didn't have 13 years ago that you keep building on. So when we talk about integrated advice, um, Craig, did you want to let us know why NavWealth decided to emphasise on um, integrated advice as its key pillar? Yeah, sure, Jamie. I, I guess it's a bit like I, I said a minute ago, the advantages for the client is just so huge when they can get a number of their advisors together in the same room. And again, as you just mentioned, we do accounting, bookkeeping, financial planning, wealth management, and then also finance. I mean, it is not easy to have four different professionals working for a client that all work in together. It, it's, you know, for a client to go and find four separate businesses that will work together for the benefit of their, their own financial situation, it's really hard to find. So I think that was what we decided to be famous for. And I think now 13 years later, that's exactly what we are. When I mm. see all the new clients come to NavWealth, uh, what generally they're after is that integrated advice. And, the, and some of them have experienced it where they've tried to get it right in other firms, but it is really hard to get it right. You know, we spend a lot of time in our business at NavWealth here working on how do we get better and better and better at integrating. And Simon, would you say that this is a quite a noticeable advantage oh, absolutely. when talking about NavWealth? Absolutely. Um, it, it's amazing how often I'll sit down with a client just as their accountant and they have outside advisors. And, and I find that I'm not singing from the same song sheet. So in other words, the, the information that I'm working with seems to be not, it's not holistic and it's not um, pulling in the same direction. So mm -hmm. I think with, with this integration piece, you've got advisors in the room that have the client's perspective in mind, but they're all working in the common direction or the common good with a common outcome. And that's amazing because that outcome, that's what a client is wanting. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and can I just add to that, Jamie, because we had this last week where a client's best tax strategy is not actually something the client wanted to do. So in other words, the, you know, the wonderful accountants we have here were saying your strategy should be X, Y, Z, but it actually wasn't what the client's goals and objectives were. So we actually had to go, well, hang on a minute. It's not all about tax all the time. So let's make tax the second most important part because you want to meet your objectives. Now, if we weren't a holistic business, mm. that client probably water walked away after seeing their accountants on what the best tax strategy was, but it actually may not have met their needs. It yeah. was a really interesting meeting. Yeah, absolutely. So the advice would have been totally conflicting in that case, Yeah. right? So yeah. the client would have gone away, gone after seeing you, yeah. previously seeing their accountant yeah. going, what, are we what do? am I doing? Yeah, what do we do? And just on that, um, we talk about that holistic approach. How does NavWealth actually cater for clients that may not require the full spectrum of services while still upholding our integrated approach? Yeah, that's a really good question. I might jump in first on that because it's something we're really, really careful about. Mm. At the end of the day, it must always be about what's in the best interest of our clients. So for some of our clients, they don't need integrated advice or they don't want integrated advice or they may just have their favourite accountant or mortgage broker or advisor for the last 20 years and they don't want to change from them. And we're actually okay because what we'll do is reach out to their advisor to work with them. And I think that's really important because if we insist on it, well, that, that sort of then puts our interests really, NavWealth interests ahead of our client, which we don't think is the way we should go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're really good at working with the outside advisors, um, yeah. Craig. We, yeah. we do it a lot. Mm. Um, the fact that we offer it internally doesn't change our view on the client. The client comes first. The mentality of our offering is the same. It just means we're working collaboratively in one room rather than um, obviously outside. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Love that. Um, so we're talking about 
clients integrated advice, giving them the best advice for their financial outcomes. Where does trust come into this? Because I um, know that a lot around the office we talk about trust and how beneficial trust is and how important trust is. Can you give us a little bit of a rundown on how NavWealth prioritises this? Sure. Jeez, Jamie, I love to hear you say that. That's, I'm sitting here with a big smile <laughs> on my face for those that can't see that Jamie, who's in project management, obviously hears all the time us talk about this because at the end of the day, trust is the most important thing we have with our clients. There is nothing more important than that uh, with us. Now, how, how do we demonstrate that? We demonstrate that by not having sort of a, a cooker cutty a cutter approach to, to what we do. So, you know, every client doesn't get the same thing. You know, that's the classic example of how you realize whether advice firms put their clients first. If a client walks out the door with the same thing as the previous client, then you are not building trust and looking after your client. Yeah, I reflect a little bit on this as part of the reason that I um, enjoyed well, I've, I've enjoyed my journey or I merged my business with the, with the NavWealth team is the values that we bring to the table. Um, and our values, for those who don't know, are passion, integrity, teamwork and respect. And I think that's all part of this trust process. Mm, you know, it, absolutely. It, it is, it is the, the holistic and, and integration, but at the same time, it is we're not, we're not selling anything. We're trying to provide the best outcomes and advice for our client within the boundaries of what we can do. Yeah, absolutely. And Craig, I love how you touched on just now how if, someone, if a client was to come in and they go out with the same advice that they received from someone else, say they came in and saw Simon, they received advice and then they came and saw you and received the exact same advice. How does NavWealth kind of um, approach that with collaboration within the team? Yeah. So that doesn't happen. Yeah. And, and it, let, let me start by saying it's actually really challenging to run a business of 44 people, um, you know, not thousands, but just 44 people and actually make sure that we are all over our clients' affairs across all of those four different advice specialties. It's actually not easy. So we've been finessing this really since 2013. And I think really the last couple of years we're starting to nail it. And we do that by having a lead advisor concept. So that's really important. So there's one person who is the lead sort of conductor of the orchestra for that particular client family or group. So that lead advisor could be an accountant, it could be a financial advisor, it depends on how the client comes to us. And, and you, gen, you tend to find that a client will either be closer to their accountant or closer to their wealth advisor. We don't care who it is, we just need someone as a lead advisor. And then under that lead advisor, we have many team meetings. I mean, Simon and I constantly see huddles of of, of people in our office having meetings on a client. It's fantastic. Yeah, incredibly challenging, that part. <laughs> and you're right, Craig. It, it's it's a, a sort of the collaboration meetings. But also, I I feel that a client, want, if, if they are taking on the integrated advice, and, and more often than not, the financial planner will end up being the lead advisor. And I say that because accountants tend to be looking in the rearview mirror. Mm. We report on the news where advisors tend to make the news. Yes, we'll do things together and plan, but the, the advisor, because they're dealing with the investments and the day-to-day -day stuff, will more often be the lead advisor and drive the client with, with the accountants behind sort of working with them on, on strategies and, and planning around the tax and, and, and the structures. Yeah, awesome. And I don't I know you guys are quite busy and you might not see everything that goes on around the office, but I love walking into the office every day and seeing the accountants and the wealth advisors working together, sitting at the computer together, going over everything together and working out a strategy. Like that to me, I love that. I love seeing that and that screams office environment and collaboration and yeah, awesome sometimes work. you see them debating. Yeah, uh, you do. Quite heated debates on you do. <laughs> different strategies. Absolutely, you do. Yeah. Um, and then finally, let's just go over client comfort. So how does NavWealth ensure that clients feel comfortable and confident with our integrated advice and how do we help them throughout their whole journey coming on to NavWealth? Oh, that's such a good question. I might jump in first on this one because I saw this for myself last week. We had a rather large client in our family in last week and we had an accountant and two wealth advisors in the room 
So we had three advisors in the room with this accountant and I was watching as well. And what I noticed was this, everyone learns and takes information in differently. So some people love spreadsheets and numbers, some people like graphs, some people like communication verbally, some people like written. So you can imagine even within a couple, you could have a completely different way you need to communicate. Mm -hmm. And so what's great in terms of comfort in this meeting I was in last week is I could see what one client was getting in spades from a particular account and what they needed, but I could see the other spouse literally vague about what was going on. And what that allowed us to do was to actually then sort of repeat the information, I guess, mm. in another way, another format, which meant that both husband and wife left our office feeling really comfortable at the information and advice that we gave them, which was actually really, really complicated. Because yeah. I started off the meeting by saying, guys, this is so complicated. People study accounting degrees to learn this. So I was worried that they'd actually be able to grasp it, mm. but they did a great job. And I think having multiple people in the room really helped them yeah. get comfortable. Awesome, I love that. And yeah, you, Simon? It's also the different eyes on the topic. You know, it's amazing what you have a few advisors in the room, they're going to have different eyes and different theories on things. So that's, yeah. that's really useful. Um, the other thing I think is very useful in terms of the client comfort is the way that we deal with the client. So um, we, we, we have a fixed fee approach to the work that we do for clients. So there's no worrying of, of bill shock, if you like. We have a, um, a discovery process where we spend a lot of time at the beginning working with clients to actually know what they want and, and where their journey is. And, and with those, that investment, um, it, it, it allows us to provide absolute comfort because we're taking under, we're taking in what they're saying and we're working with the client. And, and those, those two things are probably um, done in a way where it's, it's not confrontational in terms of money. In fact, our discovery process is complementary and it's an hour of investment that our team does for our clients that, that helps in that, that comfort zone, I think. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And I think the fact that we hear so many clients in reception when they leave say, I always feel better after I've been to Nabwell. That's yeah. about the best thing yeah. I can hear yeah. in our reception. <laughs> Well, I'm, I don't know about anyone else listening, but I just love Navwealth and I love hearing all this and taking us through the journey and why Navwealth is Navwealth and why we are famous for our advice. Um, so to wrap everything up, Craig and Simon, do you want to give us a little glimpse into the future? What, is, what can we expect to come out of Navwealth and what's on the horizon? Well, there's a lot going on at the moment, <laughs> Jamie, and um, I think Simon's worked really hard really hard in this last period with the, the merger of the firms that Simon talked about. Now it's a case of, right, we've got these 44 people all together here and it's about having some fun in working efficiently in the best way for our clients. So it's a really exciting time as, uh, as we get everyone to work collaboratively together. And then the last thing I'd say is we're spending a lot of time on technology this year because we realise as a larger business, and with more clients, we want to use technology more to give our clients a, a better offering, to be more efficient. Um, so with a bit of hope, in late 2024, we'll have some announcements on technology, which I'm sure clients are going to love. Absolutely. I'm all already excited. Yeah, that's got to do with the service delivery and that, and that, that visual sort of um, interaction with Navwell. I, I, I also, really importantly, I want to just touch on that, what we're doing for our clients out there. I think you're going to find this year there's going to be a lot, a lot more um, webinars and interactive events mm. at the, where our clients can actually have a say and, and ask questions and, and have a team of people that can answer it. So we're hoping That's to awesome. provide a lot more in the, in the form of um, events and marketing for our clients. Well, thank you so much, Simon and Craig. I know this was a little different having me interview you both, but um, it was great to hear about Nav Wealth and I just love hearing about the journey that you both have been on over the last 30 and 15, or 13 years since merging. And it's um, great to see all the clients come in and I hope that they enjoy getting advice from Nav Wealth and listening to you both. Thanks, Thank Jamie. You. Thanks for everything you do for us. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Jamie. Really appreciate it. Thank you for listening to NAB Talk. 
If you'd like to catch up on other episodes from this series or previous, head to our NavWealth website. Until next time.